Hi everybody, Scott Bellis here, Council President of Equity. I'm here with a Council Connect video bringing you all the news for March 2023. Okay, first I'd like everybody to know that the member education Zoom webinars that we've been doing this year uh, have been a great success and uh, we will be doing more of them in the future. If you haven't been able to uh, attend any of those, you can find them. They're all posted on our YouTube channel. Go to YouTube and search for Equity Communications and you'll find the channel. We'd like to thank the Department of Canadian Heritage uh, for providing the funding for these programs. We've been doing everything from personal finance to uh, anti-oppressive communication. They've been a great success. Keep an eye on your emails. We'll be sending out more links for those in the future. We've had some new faces join the council circle. We've got three new councillors who've joined us from the Ontario region. They are Ron Kennel, Omar Alex Khan, and George Alavizos. Uh, you can find contact information if you are an Ontario member uh, on the governance page of the website. Go to the main page, click on who we are, and then click on government governance, and you can find all the names and faces of the councillors serving on your national council. Additionally, I should add that Omar Alex Khan has gracefully agreed to serve as second vice president uh, for Equity Council. The second VP's job is member education and engagement. Uh, so if you have an idea uh, or an issue that you would like to see brought before Equity Council, uh, you can contact Omar. He will be uh, the person that you can uh, that you can send your ideas to. Uh, you can contact Omar by writing to him at vice president too at caea.com. Association finances are slowly on the mend. We're currently at about 85% of our pre-COVID levels of revenue. So uh, we're slowly getting there. We know that audience attendance across the country is still low compared to what it was before COVID. It's about 60, 65%. So uh, people are coming back to the theater, which is great news for us. It looks like we will have some stability moving forward so that the association can continue to uh, deliver the services that it provides for the members in the long term. So good news. Finally, it's been three years since COVID shut our community down. And it's been a long and difficult road, but I am continually amazed by the resiliency and the passion and the dedication uh, that our members have toward the live performing arts in this country. It's a really, really important thing. And uh, we're doing everything over here at Equity to make sure that there is some stability and growth for the future of our sector, our community, and the artists who work inside it. So uh, that's it for me. We'll see you next time on the next Council Connect.